everyone. Welcome Hi. to Hong Kong. I've got a friend with me here. Why don't you introduce yourself? Hey guys, I'm Frank. Yeah, Frank is another YouTuber. Anything else? <laughs> that's all. That's all he needs to know. Uh, today we're just going to talk a little bit about the LGBT community here in China because I haven't ever done a video about that before, um, and I think it would be great to, to talk about. Yeah, I am gay, and I came to China really curious to know what it was like to be gay here. You know, obviously, there are some struggles and some issues that yeah. come up. Yeah. I think it also depends because China is such a big country. Yeah. There's a lot of like diversity of opinion. I used to live in Gansu and it's a really traditional area mm -hmm. and you know when I would talk about my gay friends and this yeah. and that and they'd be like, oh, you're friends with those people? Oh, yeah, you know? yeah. Like, you know, oh, it's not natural and it's blah yes. blah blah. You know, I hear that a lot. That's yeah. the one you hear the most I would expect. Yeah, like I've heard that it's not natural, that there's something wrong with their mind if, yeah. if someone's gay. It's a disease. Like there's something. an illness, yeah, and it was only very recently when they <clears throat> when they stopped considering homosexuality a disease. So it's it's still something that the culture is learning to understand, learning to accept. What about in Shenzhen? Yeah. How is it different than well, in Shenzhen? Shenzhen is more open-minded <clears throat> because everyone flocks to Shenzhen from all over China. So in general, people are more open-minded there. There's a huge gay community, and with me, I just met one gay Chinese person who introduced me to literally hundreds others. And <laughs> it's like a network. It's like an underground network. And I actually just this past week, I was I was going on a, a trip to the beach, and they rented out two huge vans, and there were over a hundred people who went. So. Gay people do form community mm. here, they find ways to connect and meet up, but when they go back to their, their ordinary lives, it's hard for them to just, you know, be open about who they are. Okay, hear a lot about a problem that comes up with gay people who are so terrified of coming out and being who they are and yeah, all of that. Yeah. They do get married and they have kids and all that. Do you know any, any yes. people like that? Yes, I have met some gay men who told me that they were married to women and had kids and they don't they don't tell their family about this at all it's a complete secret some people are living their lives essentially as complete lies here it's just it's it's really a shame well, let's not get too like dark and dreary and all that cuz like cuz obviously you can find that that community here you yeah. just went on your on your big big gay boat party like that's awesome like i would love to I would actually you want to join next time. <laughs> I would actually like to join that. It's, that would yeah. I think that would be fun. It was so fun. Yeah. It's like there's nothing more fun than a party of like openly <laughs> flaming gay dudes. <laughs> it is awesome. It's the best time, man. And it's great. Yeah, like when I the love when, it. when everyone's together, they're they're so comfortable and mm -hmm. everyone's just happy and they're having a good time and mm -hmm. you know, they're just like being silly with each other, flirting yeah. and that's you know. what I think is great yeah. like, about that whole community. Yeah. They are just up for whatever they yeah. are yeah i love that i think that's great so many people are really kind of like you know reserved here in yeah, china yeah. especially yeah china's a very reserved country it's very conservative in general it's, it's very conservative and they put a lot of weight on history and tradition even with a lot of my gay friends they'll say you know that they're they're okay not being out of the closet they're okay with that some of them are some of them are not i mean of course ideally they would like to be out and, sure. and people would just consider them to just be like anyone else mm -hmm. but they're they're not like weighed down by it so much because mm -hmm. i think it's just kind of a cultural thing where you know we follow tradition so it, it is a bit of a different situation for gay people here I'm curious because I, I recently found out mm -hmm. from a few people mm -hmm. that Chengdu where I live is actually considered the gay capital of China. That. you've I, heard that too I have heard okay that, yeah. like we didn't talk about this I'm just like I didn't know I've, that. Yeah, I've heard like the guys, huh. the guys there are extremely handsome as well. <laughs> yeah, Shenzhen has some very few gay bars. I actually mm. haven't been to any of them. But they are a thing. They are a thing. Yeah, yeah. They, they have some options. Mm. But I mean, after you go to a few Chinese bars, they're all kind of gay. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and in general, in Asia, usually Taiwan is gay and Hong Kong is very hey. gay. Um, Hong Kong is pretty gay. Hong Kong is. They have the, they <laughs> have gay pride parade here every every summer. They do have, they? they do. Or it's like in October they have a gay pride parade, and it's one of the only ones in Asia. Yeah, I went okay. to it. It was it was so. Oh, did you? Okay. I did, and it was cool because you don't just go to there to watch the parade like <laughs> North, in the states. You actually go. You're in the parade. You're in the parade. You if you're gay and you're coming to China, it's not a deal breaker. You're not no. gonna get. There's not like a lot of hate crimes. No, over here, no, really. no. And Have you experienced any like discrimination oh. or any like 
uncomfortable situations. No, I haven't. Because ex- of that. I haven't experienced discrimination. I've experienced confusion. I mean, yeah. One of my Chinese girlfriends one time asked me. She's like, Frank, are you a gay? And I said yes. And then she started asking me questions like, when you, when you're dating another guy, then who is the girl? So like very, yeah. very like, uh, like superficial questions. We would have asked that in like middle school. Yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. remember asking. Those so that's that's questions. the thing. Whenever like I come out to like a straight Chinese person, it's kind of like rewinding back to the questions when I was in like grade school, middle school, when people had no idea what gay means. So you have to like teach them, you know, mm-hmm. what it means to be gay. We're still people. <laughs> We're still people. Yeah, yeah. So I haven't really faced discrimination like Chinese people do. Mm-hmm. So in that way, I'm kind of, I'm very lucky. Yeah. China's not an aggressive place. It's not. Like, yeah. we're in, you know, China, there's a lot of racism here. And in the USA, there's a lot of racism. Yeah. But in differences in the USA, you someone could get hurt yeah or killed yeah. for it right or right. for being gay or for anything but that doesn't happen here you don't hear it um, happening here in general it's yeah. just people aren't that violent I guess you would yeah. say you know everyone kind of just you know does does their own thing and in general I feel like China Chinese people just don't really give a fuck <laughs> There you go. Hopefully the culture will just be more open to giving mm-hmm. gays the same rights as straight people. I don't I don't know is um, are there any tips for meeting the gays? I mean there are WeChat groups that generally gay people form in in the cities. There mm-hmm. are gay dating apps um, which I, I mean you That's want to something be what I wanted to yeah, ask you about. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's like, there's one called Aloha Blue it is the most popular gay dating app. Um, so links below. <laughs> no, oh my God, <laughs> I would just say just putting yourself out there and talking mm. to people, and you'll eventually find someone. I mean, China and it's the biggest population in the world, so it has the biggest gay population in the world too. Mm-hmm. So you'll you'll True. you'll find gay people here. You'll yeah. find people of all kinds. And even if you don't find them right away, they're there. They're there. Don't you know? Don't feel like you're all alone. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, and they're so happy. I mean, I found that when I when I hang out with my gay friends, they're so excited to just have a foreigner be with them, and I'm oftentimes the only foreigner that goes on these outings, like camping. Oh, really? Camp, Interesting. Camping and hiking. Token white guy. Oh yeah, I get a lot of attention. <laughs> I get a lot of attention, but it's cool that you know I could meet people and they could meet me. So they really are interested in connecting with foreigners and getting to know what what your life is like. So. Don't worry about it too much. You'll be okay. You'll be fine. Yeah, just come over here, be yourself. Just understand Chinese culture and dealing with yourself in professional situations versus just daily life. But I mean, I found it to be a great place, and I've I've enjoyed being here. Well, I think we're gonna about wrap it up because you cool. gotta go. I gotta go. And uh, you can check out Frank's channel down below, and we've also filmed a video over on his channel. What did we film? We filmed a "What's in Your Mouth" challenge with Chinese food, and it's, mm-hmm. it's so gross. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it was it was an experience. Oh, it was yeah. an experience. Yeah. No spoilers, but no. it was good. Okay, guys, we're gonna wrap it up. I'll see you all next time. Bye. <laughs>